there's no way I'm helping you fabricate whatever that is. Well, I'm not designing anything else, so I don't know what you're gonna make. Hey, what's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. Gwen doesn't have any imagination. The problem is, Ava's design for the robot's casing isn't practical. Look at this mess. And I'm very imaginative. Yesterday, I imagined I was a worker bee in a bee colony. A worker bee is the most boring type of bee. Okay, let's just calm down. I'm sure we can find a compromise. No, I refuse to work with someone who doesn't understand function is always more important than form. What the robot looks like isn't as important as what its AI can make it do. Well, I'm not working with someone who doesn't understand that form is function. What our robot looks like directly affects what our robot can do. Besides, I have to go work on some new awesome looking cosplay armor all by myself. And you think I care? I have to edit one of my podcasts all by myself. Riley, we can't just give up a whole day of working. We have to submit our project for the STEAM Challenge in less than a week. I know. What if you and I worked on it together? But I don't know anything about design or fabrication. Neither do I. But I'm sure it can't be that hard. Looks like they couldn't decide on a design for the robot. So maybe we should figure that out first. Let's keep it simple. So like a box? That could work. What should we make it out of? How about cardboard? That could work. That's amazing. <laughs> Riley, could you help me with this piece? Really just slap some tape on it. No problem. -o. What if we add some sparkles and googly eyes to really bring out the form of this design? That's a great idea. And some pipe cleaners for added function. Good thinking. You should be using a 3D printer and making the casing out of polymer. And a box? You seriously thought that was a good idea? It's ugly and not even strong. Exactly. Just think of a honeycomb. The shape is simple, but its design makes it extremely strong. Plus, beehives look awesome. Are you sure? Because I think Kat and I got this. Yeah, and I think it looks great. Oh, oh dear. Please don't do any more damage. Gwen's right. You've done enough harm. Maybe you could look to nature to figure out a design. It's called biomimicry, making something inspired by the natural world, which has evolved for optimal function. I love it. And the best part is, its form will look beautiful. I just need a stretch. Oh, me too.